Just whenever? Yeah, whenever. Into that camera? Yeah. Okay. Hey, y'all. Uh, this is Jason Alon. I instigate and do all these other things that people presume could be dangerous in a band called Let Live. You are now watching Shout Loud TV. Holla at your boy. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with Jason from Let Live. Hey guys. Congrats on your new album, If I'm the Devil. It was released in May or June, I think, yeah, yeah. this year. Um, when you were writing the album, what was the song you were most looking forward to to play live? Um, that's a good question. Um, I guess actually the first song on the record um, is one of the, you know, it's called uh, I've Learned to Love Myself. It'll probably be the the one uh, that I was most excited just to see how we could perform it and see how the dynam like the dynamism would fare in a live setting. Um, there's, there's another song on there that I'd like to play, but we haven't played yet, um, and which is the last song on the record. So um, I guess the bookends uh, would be my most excited to play, but we've only played one so far. Yeah. And what's the song you're enjoying most right now? Uh, I just like to be able to play guitar again. So we're playing the song called Reluctantly Dead. Um, and I am playing guitar in that song. So I'm enjoying that. And then, of course, uh, Good Morning America. Just I just think it's a good vibe and we get to groove. So, yeah, one, two, those two. Yeah. It's a great song, by the way. Um, elaborate on your album title, If I'm the Devil. Uh, which incidents in your life and themes inspired you to write an album with this, with these issues? Um, I mean, honestly, it's just, for me, if I'm the devil is like, a, is a proposal, you know, it's an offering to folks, um, listeners to finish the statement, you know, the ellipses that follows that statement is a, a way to sort of, um, I guess, imply some sort of ending. And uh, for me, you know, I guess it's the projection and presumption of who I am and who the people like myself are in our culture um, being considered to be something that uh, it just isn't. You know what I mean? Like, um, where I'm from specifically, uh, you know, I think that a lot of people have this presupposition um, as to who we are, what we do, and why we do it without any real knowledge on or insight as to um, what it really is. So um, if it's if I'm going to speak particularly or uniquely to myself, um, you know, I, everything, just growing up and becoming more educated as a member of society, as a human being, has really uh, helped me elucidate these points on the, on the record specifically. And I'm able to articulate them much better now, so that's what I've been doing with this one. Yeah. Nice. Um, so to you personally, does your music feel more political or rather like a commentary on the modern state of society? I would say like a hybridized uh, rendition of, of both of those things. You know, I think that politics play a huge part in our life, our lives, and especially in the Western world. But just everything is politicized on, in some fashion uh, that I guess that we see the effects in society. And for me, I've always had a penchant for at least understanding them. If we're going to subvert, you must first understand. So for me, it's figuring out what is actually happening, why, and then trying to figure out how we can affect that change. And in this record, I just wasn't, I had no reason to feel trepidation or apprehension to highlight those points, elucidate those things. I just don't really give a fuck about what people think, whether it's they think it's wrong or right. It's what I have experienced. Yeah. You grew up in a suburb called Inglewood. Um, how did your, um, I don't know, things you experience there influence your style of music the, the everything i owe everything to basically where i'm from you know inglewood my first love is you know r&b hip-hop and soul like so everything that i do um spawns or the, the genesis of everything i do musically is typically from that and also my father was a musician and he was playing uh like this rendition of like rock soul um, when i was younger so inglewood you know, has everything to do with everything that I do. And then I was given, you know, an introduction to punk rock uh, through the city adjacent to Inglewood, which is a, a real a real suburb, because where I'm from, um, it doesn't really hold the typical character characteristics of a suburb. You know, we're, we're considered a, a marginalized area. But adjacent to my area was a very 
archa archetype of a suburb called Westchester, and that's where I was um, introduced to punk rock. So just in my relative area, uh, really had a huge, huge hand in shaping what I, you know, what became me as a musician, and then furthermore, you know, let live, definitely. Uh, your newest album feels more passionate musically as well as lyrically uh, than than ever before, especially because the messages are more excruciating and honest than on the, your previous albums. Um, I also think that they really just engage the listener mm. to uh, to think about the subject matter. What is the message you want to get across to your new listener, uh, listeners and old listeners alike? Um, despite the seemingly let's say i don't know i don't want to say pessimistic but uh, i guess darker outlook on what is happening around us uh, the reason i am making these points glaring the the reason that i am engaging the listener in such a way that they must think if they're going to listen to let live they kind of have to think about the things that are being said at this point or because I think that that is our way forward and I think that is the way to, again, uh, affect and catalyze change, a change that will benefit us. So it's not, it's not that I think that there's this defeatist mentality that everything's fucked, you know. It's actually uh, understanding the sy these syst you know, systemic approaches, these systemic models that we all exist within, no matter what, where you are, for the most part, unless you're isolating yourself in the forest, you know. Most people live in a some semblance of society where there are people pulling strings and there are things happening uh, that benefit a very, very few of the population. And typically these things are, dr are driven by, again, politics uh, and beyond that, just money, you know, monetizing everything. And I think that we've forgotten the soul and the essence of what it means to be a culture, uh, especially in, uh, you know, America, where I'm from. I think that there's uh, this, this, sense of, of, of liberation and freedom that we believed in for some time uh, in our foundation, but I don't see it. So for me, I just want people to pay attention to their surroundings. This isn't even like me talking just about America or myself. This is just people feeling liberated in their own, you know, in their own mind and extending that to, you know, their peers or, you know, or just, or just keeping it to themselves, whatever they want to do. Um, I am simply just opening the forum to have that discussion, yeah. Thank you for this uh, great explanation. Um, I would say that your stage presence is the wildest I've ever experienced uh -huh. in my life. Uh -huh. And my final question is, uh, do you consider it a workout or do you even work out besides your stage presence? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's very much like a, an aerobic, you know, uh, 30 to hour and a half, you know, depending on how long we're on stage. Um, I don't really work out. No, I, I, I skateboard or um, I hike with my, my wife and my dogs. Um, I don't really, yeah, I don't really do much of that. I, I think I did a long time ago when I played sports, you know, just out of high school and stuff. But I'd like to get back into it. I'd love to start working out. My wife does yoga and she sees, you know, the benefits of that stuff. So I think I'll start again, maybe uh, put on some, some pounds or some kilos. And, uh, you know, you never know. I might be like fucking macho man by the by the next year we'll, we'll see yeah do you uh act consciously when you're on stage or is it like your inner demon that's released yeah yeah no nah, there's no there's no uh premeditated act or anything because i feel like if i did that it would just come off as contrived and you'd be able to tell that i planned something out and um also the sporadic nature of my performance is just an extension of my own life like in my life i just enjoy doing whatever comes to my head as long as it doesn't encroach or endanger anyone else like i'm definitely just gonna do what i think is a good idea even when most would uh, agree that they're not often the best ideas uh i'm still here so we'll see <laughs> thanks for the interview jason see you soon enjoy the show thanks brother <laughs>